Well, after over a year of development, Crow Wing Power is now offering their customers a way to be a part of a new community solar project. The solar project opens the doors of renewable energy to anyone who's interested in living a greener lifestyle. Our Logan Gay has more. With the interest and support from the community, Crowing Power is offering its customers an opportunity to purchase shares of their solar garden. The project is going to consist of 100 shares. It's about 122 solar panels roughly, but it's going to be 100 shares that we're offering. People can subscribe up to five full shares or as little as they can purchase as little as a half a share. The solar panels will be created by a Minnesota company called 10K Solar Panels and it gives Crowing Power customers an opportunity to have solar energy without having to build their own. If they, if they don't have land or space to put up solar panels or maybe their location is, is quite shaded because of trees or they don't want to fund the full cost of a solar system, they can purchase participate in this program. For many of those interested in purchasing shares, it's not about their power bill, it's about supporting renewable energy and its impact it will have on the planet. We're estimating that the financial payback on that is about four to four and a half dollars a month on average. Obviously summertime is greater than wintertime. And the solar panel garden will be located on the west side of the Crowing Power headquarters with a perfect view of Highway 371 members of, and people passing by will be able to see uh, the solar panels themselves and uh, so they can see uh, uh, see where their solar shares where, where it's at. The contribution cost of one share is $1,300 and Crowing Power will take care of insurance and maintenance. In Brainerd, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. The deadline for signing up for the Crowing Power Community Solar Garden is in January. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.